I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment, but I had to tell you how I feel. I couldn't hide it from you any longer.
did. I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you want all of us, or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him? Probably some big, important student council business. Nah. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, if the high muckety mucks don't need us, might as well go home. Hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to clean up for him. Have fun sweeping the hallway! What? Where did that rule come from? There's something you have to know. Do you remember the girl named Chidori, who was with Strega? I don't mean to alarm you, but the fact is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. For the past few weeks, she's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. I don't know. It may be related to her persona abilities, but that's mere speculation. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yuri. You see, she's probably... Mitsuru here. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's unbelievable. But although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. D did I hear that right? Iori? Chidori is... <gasps> is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But Iori... She probably... Chidori... Chidori's... Alive? <laughs> uh, hey, Junpei, what about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now, but perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this too. Could I ask you to come along? Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it really you, Chidori? I'm not dreaming, am I? Dreaming? It's true. It is you. Chidori. Huh? Who are you? Huh? What? I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? My name is Chidori Yoshino. I'm sorry, 
It hasn't quite hit me yet, but it seems I don't remember any of the past few years. It's as if I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori, Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... Iori. Nah, I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about fighting and pills and you're having a nightmare. It ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy. And I, I think there were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori, take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it, it may have been that night that she began to transmogrify. Power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that. Excuse me, are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. Supposing you do find him and meet him, what then? That's... that's none of your business. Chidori! Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. <laughs> Chidori! H hey! Why are you crying? I, I... I can't help it. This... this is seriously the happiest moment of my life! <laughs> <laughs> Small surprise, huh? <laughs> Where have you been?
Welcome back. I know what you want to say. Our maid staff helped me move here, so that's why it looks like this. It's as if there's a second lounge here, isn't it? <laughs> that's what Yukari always says. Oh, I almost forgot. I want you to have this. It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from the future anymore. There's no need for me to. I don't have to think of my motorcycle as a means to escape from my feelings. Though I do regret that I won't be riding it as often anymore. I want to ride with you. But you'll have to sit on the back until you get your license. When we're done fighting, I'll teach you how to operate it. I can't wait until then. <laughs> Indeed. If that's your preference, I won't object. <laughs> Though it would be nice if I could hold on to you once in a while. <laughs> I'm still somewhat embarrassed to come out and say it, but when we're alone, no one else can hear me. Your name is special to me. If I was in danger, it would be my last desperate call for help. Um, I, I want to be with you a little bit longer tonight. <sighs> Can you stay with me? in your room all this time?
Greetings.